Council has been so successful because young people feel like they're having their voice heard. So they've had town hall forums on drugs, guns and gangs, on violence. Uh, they just had a concert, I think about three months back, and they had, I think, a couple of thousand kids come out. And it was about young people trying to build self-esteem, to address the issue of racism, to increase confidence. So I think one of the ways, going back to your question, to get young people is involved is to make, uh, to ensure that we have their voice heard, to have them a part of the process. And I I think when they're a part of the process, they're having their voice heard, they know that they're making that difference. They can relate, they can connect, and they can identify. So to all of the young people, especially I want to say this into the camera that are watching Breakfast Buzz, I want you to get involved. Um, from my office, we're very, very strong conduits of, of having strong supporters of young people. Kids that need to do community service hours, you need 40 hours of community service, come out and volunteer. Um, go onto our website, because I think every single kid these days is connected uh, you know, to uh, the internet. It's www.rubydala.ca. Come out, get involved. It's about young people and it's about your voice. Yes, do we have any other questions, please? Uh, Ruby, uh, very recently we celebrated uh, Diwali festival. And in coming days, maybe in a couple of days, we are going to celebrate our Eid. Uh, in Brampton, uh, we, you know, mostly we South Asians, we know about each other's uh, important festivals. But, uh, for, but for the other nationals who are uh, coming in this country as immigrants, uh, we don't know about their important days which they celebrate, like Korean important days, maybe the religious days, Chinese, and like many other countries, we don't know about other nations, what, how they celebrate, what are their important days. So in this connection, uh, what you're planning to do to, so that we all know about each other's important days and uh, we can contribute in that way. Very, very good uh, uh, question that you raised and also an issue that you identified. You know, I always say that when you see Canada, you see the rest of the world. And when you see Brampton, you have a chance to see the rest of Canada because we are so blessed to live in not only one of the fastest growing cities in Canada, but also one of the most culturally diverse. We have people from, I think, every country that live in Brampton. One of the great festivities that Brampton holds every year for people to be able to learn about each other's cultures and traditions is something called Carabram. And uh, Carabram takes place every summer. Uh, Carabram is, is basically pavilions that are organized by every community group. And it's amazing whenever you go to Karabram, you can buy a passport. So it's basically like touring the world. So you can go into the Polish uh, pavilion, you can go into the Portuguese, you can go into the Italian, to the Indian, um, you know, to the Pakistani. You can go into all of these different pavilions and there the communities have come together with young people, with seniors, with families to really share their culture, to promote their traditions. And that's a great opportunity to learn, to share and to exchange. And I think we need to have, be having more of that. In continuation with this question, that is very true. It happens in Brampton, probably happens in Mississauga, in Toronto, but the whole of the country, let's say in Halifax, let's say in Prince Edward Island, wouldn't it be better that at the parliament level, some bill should be introduced that more awareness should be created amongst other cultures in the remote areas where that is not very much represented. Yeah, I think those are great ideas. I think that we always need to have innovative ideas to be able to bring people together to unite Canadians. And that's one of the beautiful things about Canada is that we can all be proud, you know, of our culture and our heritage. And I always say very proudly that, you know, for myself, um, Canada is home. We're so incredibly proud of it. But we must also, as young people, never forget our roots. And I think it's important to teach all young people, regardless of where they're born, even regardless of their religion or cultural background what their roots are and it is due to the sacrifices and struggles of the people that have come before us that have allowed us to be able to do what we do today so you have an excellent idea in our cultures and I'm talking about South Asian cultures unfortunately girls are not given the same privileges as boys it is unfortunate but it stands there what message do you have for the ladies for the young girls in particular TV, you know, and all of the, the women that are watching as well, they say that, you know, when any woman goes into parliament um, for any political party, it is really the voice of your mother that is going through. And I think, especially in politics, the voice of women, not only for the women that are elected, 
but also at the grassroots level is very, very important because when the voice of women is heard, it's the voices of mothers, of daughters, of sisters, of very the true. community. And when you get policies ultimately, you know, they are family policies. You know, sometimes people think that the only issues important to women are about daycare and about, uh, you know, daycare issues and other social programs. But when you talk about foreign policy, when you talk about international trade, when you talk about the economy, having the voice of women there gives you a very different insight and a different perspective. You know, so to all of the young girls, especially that are watching, you know, always believe in yourself. And I, that's one of been one of my um, most gratifying experiences after all the challenges I've gone through and all the struggles and all the barriers that we've faced is to see young girls come up to me, you know, when I go to schools and say, Ruby, you know, I want to be prime minister one day. And I think if these young girls can think like that at, at that such a young age, we know that they're going to believe in themselves and have that confidence to go out there and really, really achieve their dreams. You know, so to all of the young girls that are watching, go out there, believe in yourself, and anything in life is possible. Life is about working hard, it's about taking risks, but we are so blessed, you know, to live in Canada, where if you take risks and you work hard and you believe in yourself, you know, dreams do come true. And to all of the men that are watching as well, I want to say, you know, encourage your sisters, your daughters, your mothers to get involved. Uh, you know, uh, within the political process. If you have an idea, let it be heard. Because every time we have women involved at any level, even women that come to stuff the envelopes or to knock on the doors, I can tell you it's a voice of mothers, daughters, and sisters that is being heard. Very well said. Last but not the least, I would uh, like once again to thank you for graciously coming at a short notice. And I know you're very well involved in all communities, especially I do remember last Eid, you did raise a reasonable amount of money to help the flood victims of Pakistan. Our community both support that the the and it is with a great deal of pride on behalf of the people of Canada, on behalf of our constituents especially and our volunteers in Brampton Springdale and I want to take the opportunity to present that to the Imran Khan Foundation for the victims that have been affected by the tragedy in Pakistan. for the donations and I hope will be able to help So congratulations to all of you. We have our Eid festival coming again. I would like to thank you from my community and all the South Asians for the great work you are doing. You. And your staff in particular, because you are not even there, you are in Ottawa and I know how they work and how they answer phone calls and how they promptly do all the needs that they are needed to do. Thanks again very much. God bless you. Do have a nice day. Thank you very much, and uh, I just want to say, especially to the audience, I really appreciate you guys uh, coming out. We never had any questions from women, but I'm sure they're going to ask me uh, afterwards. And uh, you know, to the staff and to the volunteers, you're only as good as your team. I'm blessed to have a great team of volunteers and a great staff. And I always say it's like extended family, and it's only by all of us working together as a community that we can really, really make a difference. Uh, so to all of you that watch Breakfast Buzz uh, today, I just want to say, you know, go out there, believe in yourself, may you go after your dreams and get involved. Politics is about you. Politics is about your ideas, about your voices, and working together, we're going to make that difference to give people hope for a better tomorrow and a brighter future. I also want to say that we know uh, Diwali just passed, so uh, Diwali ki mabarak sab community ko and khas karke jitne bhi apne bhaiyan bhai hain Pakistan se sab ko Eid ki bahut uh, mabarak dete hain. Uh, may uh, Eid uh, you know bring you happiness, uh, good health, prosperity, and peace for many many years to come. And I also want to say at this time of celebration of Eid that we are also going to remember the victims and the families that were affected by the devastating floods in Pakistan. And Pakistan se bhi kafi jo log rehte community Tony, we want to say thank you to you as well. Jo Imran Khan ka foundation hai, jo Red Cross hai, both sare organizations ne, both sare community log ne jo wahan par you know Canada se rehte hain, both hard work hamare khayal mein kiye, the unhon ne both paise raise kiye, jitne bhi families hai Pakistan se. And as we celebrate Eid, we want you to know that we will never forget you. We are here to support you. We are here to work with you as you rebuild your lives. And once again, to the entire community, Eid Ki Mabarak. As I look around this room tonight, 
I see that there is a lot of opportunity to give hope to those that have been impacted, the young people, the seniors, and the families that have been devastated by the floods in Pakistan. You know, when the floods took place and we all turned on our televisions and watched the horrific images on TV, we knew that there was an opportunity, a responsibility as Canadians, as a country, regardless of where we come from, but as Canadians and as a nation, to step up, to reach out, and to help those that are suffering. And I remember when I first got elected, Pakistan was hit by an earthquake, and we worked together for one of the very first times in my capacity as an MP with so many distinguished individuals. Thank you very much once again, and thank you for the kind wishes. We do need to remember the needy, of course, at this time of joy and celebrations, and that's what Canada is all about. Thank you once again. Thank you, everybody, for sparing time at the short notice. Thank you once again, the studio audience, the respected guests. I hope we learned something out of this episode and would create more awareness in getting involved in day-to-day -day lives of our Canadian culture. Thank you.